Hey YouTube, today I'm going to give you a quick video tutorial on how you can replace the side view mirror on your 7th generation Honda Civic or 2nd generation Acura 1.7 EL. As you can tell by the passenger side mirror on this particular vehicle, the mirror was broken off and reattached using a bunch of packing tape. Uh, this is of course a temporary fix and of course it would also lead to a very hazardous situation should that mirror fall off when you need it or if you're driving 100 miles an hour down the interstate that, that falls off and injures someone. Um, so we're going to take the time to show you how to pull that off and install a replacement unit. We begin by peeling off all this excess packing tape and carefully removing this inner triangular trim panel piece located just directly in front and above the door panel. There's nothing holding it in really other than the fact that it's just held in with a snap clip and a centering clip here as such. The next step here is we're going to go ahead and disconnect this uh, bulkhead connector here by pushing down on this little tab here and then disconnecting the power connector as such. Remove the three 8mm screws located here, here, and here to unbolt the mirror off of the body. Butterfingers. Remove the damaged mirror assembly from the vehicle by just pulling it away, removing all the tape alongside with it. So as you can tell, when the individual was backing on the garage, they had hooked this mirror onto the side of the garage door and essentially damaged the entire subframe assembly piece for the mirror. This is what a proper mirror looks like without any damage. So the real installation process is fairly simple. We're just going to simply feed this mirror through the vehicle's door frame assembly as such like this and then just using the 8 millimeter nuts you had removed earlier reattach the new mirror now when you're torquing these nuts down you don't need to make them insanely tight, just tight enough so that the mirror doesn't wiggle on the vehicle. And once the nuts are tightened down appropriately, proceed to reconnect the little power connector here on the end, like this and then taking your little triangular trim piece, align this little peg into this rectangular hole at an angle like this, and then align your snap clip in place to reattach everything. So, less than five minutes of work. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Rate, comment, and subscribe.